How germs spread. Modes of transmission. The spread of disease is called transmission. Infectious agents generally specialize in a particular mode of transmission. That means a particular way they enter the body. These include droplet, airborne or traveling through the air, direct and indirect contact with germs, touching, fecal and oral ingestion, eating germs, and vector. Droplet. Droplets are mucus secretions that are sent into the air by coughing or sneezing. The large droplets are too heavy to stay suspended in the air for a long time. They can travel up to six feet, then drop. Airborne. Airborne droplets are tiny mucus droplets that can stay suspended in the air for hours or days. They can travel further distances than droplets. They are also spread through coughing and sneezing. Direct or indirect contact. Direct contact means that germs from one person are passed along to another person. Transmission can be from touching another person. Germs from a sick person can transfer onto their hands during coughing and sneezing. In turn, the germs can be passed along to other individuals by skin contact, like a handshake. Unwashed hands after using the bathroom can cause the spread of germs, such as the bacteria E. coli. Kissing and other sexual activity can also spread germs directly from one person to the next through saliva and mucous membranes. Indirect contact involves touching the surface of an object, such as a doorknob or a bathroom faucet. When an infected person who has germs on their hands touches the surface of an object, germs are left behind. A person who follows and uses the faucet may pick up the germs from touching the same object that was contaminated. Ingestion. Ingestion of contaminated food or water is another common cause of disease. This mode of transmission known as the fecal route. If someone prepares food without washing their hands after going to the bathroom, they may contaminate the food with germs from their feces. Food and water can also become contaminated by feces. In this mode, germs can be transmitted to many individuals through a single contaminated source. A common example is a beach or lake that is closed by the health department because of the amount of fecal matter in the water from animals, usually birds. Another example is a food crop like spinach that has E. coli from contaminated irrigation water. Vector. People may also contract disease through a vector. A vector is an organism that does not cause the disease itself. It spreads an infectious agent to humans, usually by biting. Blood-sucking insects can spread germs by biting an infected animal than biting a human. In other words, they introduce germs from one host to another. Mosquitoes, ticks, and fleas are classic examples of vector organisms that feed on an infected animal, then feed on a human, and pass the germ into their bloodstream. Examples of diseases are malaria and Zika. Summary. Modes of transmission means the way germs spread. There are five different ways germs are spread. 